Hello and welcome to CAD Chaos. On my last tutorial I showed you how to bring in a image on a sketch plane and then add transparency to it. Now I did tell you about a add-on which is under Tools, Add-ins, and this is Auto Trace. And what this Auto Trace does, it can interpret the image that is in your sketch plane here and start to create splines so then you can actually use that for an extrude or something of that purpose. Now one thing about the Auto Trace software is that the higher resolution you have, the much better it's going to be able to interpret what you're putting on or the higher dots per inch DPI. Um, and also having a very bold or contrasted image, um, something like if you were to trace something out um, in black on a white piece of paper and then try to import that and then bring it into the software that would be one scenario that would work well. This here is what I'm going to be trying to bring in. I have a sign back here that I modeled up and I'm going to be trying to make this handicap symbol or uh, this dude in a wheelchair. I'm going to be trying to emboss him onto that plate behind here. So let me show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a sketch on the front of this plate here. I'm now going to go to Tools, Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture. And I'm going to bring in that picture of the handicap symbol, which is actually backwards. And I'm going to scale it down to a size that I like. And center it in on the back of this plate here. Now I'm also going to give myself some sort of geometry to help me size this image correctly. So I'm going to create a square that is, in this case, two and three quarters by three and a half. And then I'm going to make that all for construction. Moving back to the image here, and I'm going to si work on sizing this image until I get it just right. Dragging the scale around. Now, when it comes to auto trace, you'll notice now that I have this sketch picture, there's one thing that's new. I have this little arrow that says next. And this brings you into the auto sketch. It turns it on basically. So you have your selection tools here. You can create a square around what you're trying to trace. You've got a freeform tool that you can just kind of drag around. Or you have a bunch of lines that you can then connect. Or you can try to pick a color. Um, I've never really had any luck with the picking the color end of it. I usually end up using one of these first three. Now I've already played around with this image and I know that in order to get a good read on what it's actually doing I need to have transparency turned on. Now if you have a PNG file or you have a TIFF those can come with transparencies but this is a JPEG I believe so I'm gonna have to use user defined pick white as my color and turn those up to maximum. So this will now turn on transparency for this image. Now I move into the auto trace section of it. I'm going to select around what I got here. And if you find that your image is too close to the borders, you're going to have to edit your image in something like Paint or a free software called GIMP and add a little bit of border so that you can actually select what you're looking at here. And then, once you've selected what you're looking at, you're going to hit Begin Trace. Now you'll notice you'll start to see your sketch lines here, and they're, they're, not, <laughs> they're not all that accurate. Um, but you got four sliders down here, which is going to change the image brightness, uh, the contrast of your image between dark and light, and then the color tolerance and your recognition tolerance. Um, and the idea is to kind of slide these around until you get something that looks as accurate as possible. Now I've already worked with this image once before and I know that the 
these uh, this arc down here will not be accurate, but I can get the person accurate if I slide things just right. So that's about as good as it's going to get for this image. Now I can click OK. I have an actual sketch I can work from, and if I wanted to, I could go and I can do an extruded cut from here and start to create that emboss I was looking for. But it's not quite right, so what I had to do is I had to go back into this sketch and manually insert um, a couple of circles that were the correct size and then create some trim lines to get and to clean up this section of the sketch. But what that looks like when it's all said and done is I end up with a uh, reversed handicap sign, which I did not have to model this guy here. I did have to model that part, but given uh, the right circumstance, Auto Trace can save you some time as far as modeling goes. So there you have it. If you like what you've seen, subscribe, comment, like, and uh, continue to visit me every week to buy weekly as I upload more tutorials and or show you projects I've been working on. Thank you.